I'm a free agent. And um, look, I think that's the way it should be with all fighters. Like, it, it just sucks to see these young kids, these young boxers, these young UFC champions get tied up into these contracts where they're owned by the promoter, they're owned by Dana White, and they're not getting fair pay. They're not getting the fights they want. This is a – it's a big problem. Like, how is – how are – how is uh, Ariana Celeste, I think is her name. Like, how, she's a ring girl, right? Like, yep. how does she make more money than some of the fighters in the octagon who are risking their lives? Uh, d- doesn't – doesn't make – doesn't make sense to me. And I think – I don't know. It's just a big problem. And I'm hoping to help change that and just re- help fighters realize, like, they are the content. They are the ones that the fans are showing up for. They are the ones that are driving these pay-per-views. And they're the ones, again, risking their lives. And, it's, and they should be rewarded for that. I, I, I do hear what you're saying on that. That part of it is frustrating how it gets, it gets held up in an office somewhere. Come on. Exactly. Exactly. And, and especially now more than ever, it's like, you know, how come these big heavyweights, Joshua versus... Uh, Fury, how come that fight's not happening? Like, that's quite frankly, that's the fight we all want to see. How, how come these things are happening? The whole lightweight division in boxing, you know, th- there's John Jones ver- versus Francis. Like, what? Why isn't this happening? Because of payment? Like, Dana, give give these guys ten million dollars each plus pay per view and make the fight happen. You know, like, th- there's got to be a way. And so, I almost want. And obviously, finance is like coming into the power of the people in the community. It's like, how do we decentralize the fight community and make it so the fighters are the ones in control and we can just pick whoever and fight whoever and just make this stuff happen? Hey, I want to give a special congratulations to my man, Arjun Buller. Last night, he won the 1FC championship over Brandon Vera, first Indian champion heavyweight champion of all time listen this is a country of millions and millions of people billion people i believe in india and arjun buller is your first heavyweight champion so shout out to my man arjun arjun from that young kid that walked into the olympic training center way back in 2006 to the guy that came into aka whenever we were all training i understood and always knew my man that only greatness would be enough for you and today you achieve greatness. Congratulations, my friend, and welcome to the club. Another heavyweight from AKA that holds a major championship. It shows his heritage, shows how much he loved his, his 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 background, you know. And you know, Arjun is a man that is truly, truly inspiring. When people get to know him, they will appreciate him more. And I saw something recently. I said, I wish he went to the UFC. I can't wait. No, he's been there. And Arjun Buller didn't flame out of the UFC. He was three and one in the UFC and decided to go and make. It in a place where he can have a little bit more money and an international appeal, right? Over there in 1FC, uh, where it's closer to uh, his home country. So, Arjun, you did your thing, man, and I'm proud of you. First up, we are getting after some keg toss. So, the uh, list that we got of, you know, general events said on it, keg toss, and in parentheses was max height. Now, I am very excited about keg toss for max height. Again, don't know if it'll be in the finals or in the qualifiers, but the last time I got to do this, I set the world record. Nice. First event done. Right. Let's go. We got more work awesome. to do. No, you're... <laughs> 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 
guys, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you had a good laugh at me playing mini golf.